right, we're getting ready to go. We got Mr. Don Edward P. Anyhow, we're starting to ride up early this morning here. We're up in the high desert. We're going to head down to the Inland Empire and pick up Mr. Torino. Anyhow, plan for today is uh, run down the pass and hopefully uh, get down to Inland Empire area down in Redlands. We'll meet up with Mr. T and then we are going to uh, head towards Salt Sea today and uh, see what, what kind of mischief we can get into there. If you haven't yet, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Check us out at Instagram at mancave underscore mayhem. So here we go, boys. We're, we're going for another ride. It's a little chilly today. I'm wearing my Stay Puff Marshmallow Man suit, and you can see this mess on the freeway. It's not a pretty scene. So we're going to try and get through all this without becoming a bug splat on a windshield of a car. They have this freeway torn up so bad, and uh, there's no getting around it. As you can see, man, we got a lot of snow out here in Southern California, which would normally be very pleasant riding weather. It's a little chilly today. We're looking at 48 degrees, uh, which is supposed to warm up, so hopefully we'll get up in the 60s today, make it a little more easier riding. But right now, it's not bad. We're in Redlands, California. Look who I'm with. Oh boy. Mr. Donnie P. Oh, and TT. We're all yes. geared out. We're ready to go. We're gonna get some uh, some miles on these bikes today. Look at Don. He scored some Moscow Moto from this mad scientist. I'm a little jealous. Not that bad though. He deserves it. I don't. So anyhow, there's the bikes. They're all kitted out. We were gonna go to the Golden Arches, but unfortunately it's really popular. This place don't look that popular. I'm wondering what the food's gonna be like. Maybe it's closed. I don't know. We'll see. We'll probably get some 10 day old tater tots or something. What do you think, T? Yep. What do you think, Doc? Sounds about right. All At right. Twice the price. Yeah, twice the price. Look at these sexy oh, yeah, bikes. Twice. Mr. T is not gonna be riding this bike for long, are you? What do you get? Ah, uh, you know. What are you thinking about getting there? Oh, oh. everything might change. Yeah. Delays. Well, you know but, how it is. But what are we hoping for? Husky 901 oh. Expedition. Woo! Oh, yeah. The Norton Expedition, right? Oh, baby. That's going to be a sexy right. bike. Can't wait to see it. Anyhow, let's get inside so we can get some grub on. We don't have to go to your house. We, we can don't have camp to camp somewhere in the hills out there. Oh, oh, we can camp out there anywhere and analyzing things. He's analyzing things right now. I know. Where's the stickers and the flags and the arrows? Yeah, see, he, his OCD is, he's having issues right I now. I thought you were bringing notes. <laughs> he's he's going to start mapping it Color -coded. Out on, on his computer. <laughs> or we can I've never turn been. around and go back to Yuma. That's yeah, Yuma would too. be cool too. Mm -hmm. We could I've run up, go to back Yuma. to Yuma, and then come back down is on this, the lower is end. Is this a road? Or yeah, we could cut over here, and then we could cruise over to Yuma. Yeah, I'm okay with any of that. Food. We got the. That's not set in stone. I'm just yeah. penciling out. Or we got the yeah. mad scientist figuring it all out. Some dirt road the way we do it is we just I, usually pretend like we have it planned, yeah, and then he replans it for us. So it always works better that way. Yeah. All right, we're just out of Palm Springs. We had to take a break, so those guys are in. I'm keeping an eye on the bikes, and uh, still quite a bit of busy traffic here. So we'll see how it goes. Keep you posted. Palm Desert. We just passed through Palm Springs, right? This is always the unfun part, getting to where we want to go. I think we're on Indian Reservation land now. This is Torres Martinez Indian Reservation. So that's a. I think it was a school or something. But uh, yeah, we restored it for them. It was kind of cool. Um, Check it out and see what's going on here. 
All right, how many years ago did we come out here? Did we work on this building? I don't know. I don't know that I was doing it. I, I, I probably didn't do much work, did I? <laughs> we built that porch. That's right, I remember that. We came yeah, but this whole schoolhouse was over at leaning at a 45 degree angle. We straightened it out and retrofitted it and put all a bunch of bracing in it. They were built about 1907, Martinez Agency established in 1876. Pretty cool. Oh my goodness, I remember crawling underneath these buildings. Because they were pretty rough. I remember I remember this building being pretty rough. I didn't we remember to, these we other used buildings. To, uh, get scorpions. Our lumber pile and stuff, there was all scorpions. Oh really? And in the morning I, I brought a black light flashlight. Yeah. And then they would glow and then we <laughs> you could find the scorpions. Find, scorpion. <laughs> find out where they were didn't at. Did you and I mill this uh, tongue and groove square? I think we did. I think we did. Yeah. Cool. Really cool area down here. Uh, neat part of history. That's what's so fun about adventure bike riding. You just end up places where you normally probably wouldn't end up. That's all for now. Are we gonna, what are we gonna have? A, are we gonna have a Corvina tilapia sandwich? Yep. yep. Sun roasted? Yeah, uh, they're, they're a little bit heavy on the salt. Yes, just a little bit heavy. Yeah, don't, don't over salt. Don't, don't Bombay don't Beach, salt. folks. Bombay Beach. Pretty cool. Our first major stop in the ride. So, anyhow, I better get ready before these guys leave me. They're trying to. All right, this is Bombay Beach Drive-In. Kind of cool. Some old vehicles. What is that one? That, oh, which one? The green. Oh, that's a uh, that's a AMC Pacer. Yeah, Pacer. All right, we're in Neyland, California. We're heading for Salvation Mountain. I think Don and Trino need a little salvation. I, on the other hand, do not need it. That is why I probably need it worse than they do. But anyhow, we're heading that way now. This is beautiful downtown Neyland, California. Just past Bombay Beach, probably about, I don't know, 20 minutes. All right, we're coming up on uh, Salvation Mountain now. But you can see it's basically a mountain with graffiti on it. But it's kind of cool. Kind of a cool area out here. A lot of artsy fartsy transients out here. Everything's got graffiti on it. It's kind of a wild hippie trip here. And this is near Slab City as well. Looks like uh, Mad Max meets some kind of end of the world holocaust situation. Pretty crazy. But there it is, Salvation Mountain. Yeah, we're out here at Salvation Mountain in Slab City. This is kind of the entrance to Slab City. You can see it's pretty eclectic desert environment. Ah, look at Mr. Don. Wonder where he was coming from. <laughs> the master of the outhouse. The outhouse master coming back after a hefty job. Everything come out okay there, sir? He's gonna break my camera. All right, we're leaving Salvation Mountain now, and we're going up to Slab City, which is straight ahead here. I think Slab City here is just kind of a lawless little community, and it was an old uh, military base that was abandoned, and a uh, bunch of people that just don't want to be bothered by anybody else live here. And uh, so that's the story of that. But give you guys a view of what we're looking at here. Kind of an interesting place. Just in the middle of the desert here. There's some type of order to it, but uh, a lot of it's just uh, people that don't want to be messed with. Probably some snowbirds. Probably some uh, 
lawless folks too. You know, it is what it is, right? Obviously, there's no rules out here. Kind of interesting. Slab Lowe's, see? They have like little stores here for people even. But some of these places are pretty wild. Pretty interesting. Yeah, it's something seriously from Mad Max. I would uh, definitely have to say. Look at that tree, the shoe trees. And then we got the tire fence over here, which is really lovely. All right, we're in beautiful downtown Brawley, California. And uh, we're trying to get some food here at the local eatery. I'm thinking those popcorn chicken combos are looking pretty dang good. Or tiny tacos. Daddy likes. What are you thinking, Torino? What? Jack in the box, baby. What are you thinking? Uh, Come I have on. No idea. You need to engage the audience, Torino. Tacos for sure. Tacos for sure. What are you thinking, Don? I can't pass you gonna get up. some of those gamey tacos, the kangaroo tacos, or no? The I'm probably gonna get tacos. I'm probably gonna get the chicken bowl. Chicken bowl. He's getting all healthy on me. I think it was because of the comment that Torino made. What? Said something about well, maybe you need to lose a little weight. That's what you said to him. I thought that was kind of rude. I noticed it, and I was like, whoa. I was like, that was kind of rude. Didn't you think it was rude? The, the camera actually takes away 20 pounds. You look pretty good, actually. Yeah. What did you opt for, Mr. Pearson? Chicken teriyaki bowl. Well, I'm talking about your uh, Diet Coke. Diet Coke. I got Diet Cherry Coke. <gasps> but it's not really even real, is it? Because it's like the one of those chemical machines that just shoots chemicals into it. It's not, it's not, I know, but it's not the true chemical that they ship to you. It's in some little baggie. It's super concentrated baggies. True. So not as good. Oh, look at sexy watch there. Isn't Almost it? as sexy as mine, huh? Mm. Gourmet no, food right here. Like look at that. Windows around. Oh, yeah. Definitely gourmet. What did you get? Got uh, lobster bisque. Lobster bisque. All right, we're getting closer to Glamis. Got some jackwad on my tail right now, driving up my butt. This is some open, expansive desert here. You can't beat this though, right? We're kissing borders with Mexico, out in the middle of the Southern California desert on a winter day, 70 degrees, and just a bitchin' day to be riding, that's for sure. All right, we got our, hey, look at Don's got his custom little tent set up. It's starting to get dark, we made it just in the nick of time. We're camping somewhere in the middle of nowhere. We don't know if we're even legally supposed to camp here. Torino's in there running his air pressure. He's pumping his mattress up. You can hear that going. But he's way over here. And uh, so yeah. We got things going on like Donkey Kong. Now we're gonna try to scrounge up some wood. Looks like we got some firewood. We're gonna have to have some scout water and a campfire. I think we'll be good. Yes, day one is in the books, baby. All right, it's nighttime and we got a fire going. Don's famous fires. He's always uh, doing his famous fires. We gathered up some firewood. What was the best part of the day for you, Mr. Pearson? 
I can't. I you need can't, to engage the audience, brother. Just I can't engage. Can't put a price or a, a verbal exclamation of, of how fantastic it was. It was fantastic. What about you, Mr. T? What was your favorite part of the day? Right now? Or right, yeah, just right, feeling right the roar now. between your right legs? Right now, I'm trying to figure out what two planets those are up in the sky there. Venus and Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> the big one is Venus. And the yeah, little Venus, one's my anus. The little one uh, is your anus. possibly Mars. Yes. Is it red? Uh, I don't know. But anyhow, we're going to enjoy this fire tonight. All right, that's the end of episode one of our low desert ride. If you haven't yet, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. Check us out at Instagram at mancave underscore mayhem. And just remember, folks, I'm just a man in a cave causing mayhem. Stay tuned for episode two.